So uh, let's let's talk about a Twitter beef that went on between George Galloway and Hamza Youssef. Because George Galloway has uh, joined or started another political party, and he's doubtless running for a position in the Scottish Parliament. And one of the easiest ways to get attention is by starting a beef with someone. And he did it with Hamza Youssef. And no better target, in my opinion. Hamza Youssef should be the target of Twitter beefs. Uh, so if you don't recall who Hamza Youssef is, then where have you been? He's the guy who hates white people. <laughs> just openly has a problem with them spits at them like that unironically yeah and then creates legislation in, with which to censor them which passed incidentally in scotland as uh, we reported on lucy's um the person who behaves in a manner that a reasonable person would consider to be a threatening abusive or insulting or communicates to another person material what a reasonable person would consider to be threatening abusive or insulting is uh, to be hate crime and of course the uh in any any offences in which the individual intended to stir up hatred against a group of persons or the behaviour in communication is deemed by a reasonable person to likely result in hatred being stirred up by a group. Now, Hamza Youssef is not what I would call a reasonable person and he has made this uh, legislation. So if it's his standard for what a reasonable person is, then you are definitely stirring up hatred against a group by being... And this doesn't protect you in the privacy of your own homes, of course. And so everyone was against this. And George Galloway, in fact, was against this. He tweeted out, Hey, hate-filled Humza, you can look into the whites of our eyes if you like. It's the people of Scotland who are not afraid of you or your hate bill. Uh, Humza's anti-white rant is probably actually illegal in Scotland at this point. Because I think a reasonable person could interpret it as being likely to result in hatred being stirred up against a group, in this case, Scots. When he was like, you know, the Justice Secretary, no, no, that's him. But the other ones, white, 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 I'm surrounded by white people. I was like, yeah, you seem to have a problem there. Uh, and so it was St. Patrick's Day the other day uh, that I don't pay attention to. Like with any, I, I never virtue signal on social media about these holidays. Uh, I did post uh, a clip of the Wikipedia page. It was St. Patrick, he was British, damn. <laughs> What, what, what was he famous for, though? Was it like christianizing, christianizing Irish? the Irish? Yeah, but he was a, he was a Welsh monk in like the third century or something. Didn't do nothing. Well, yeah, Good exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, but the but the point is, Hamza tweeted out this: "Happy St Patrick's Day to our Celtic cousins in Ireland," and then some Celtic gibberish. Huh. Uh, really interesting. <sighs> Whew. Celtic cousins, eh, Hamza? Our Celtic cousins. Don't marry them, Hamza. Um, but he just. He's the one bringing up, what would you call it? Racial characteristics? Ethnic characteristics? Well, I mean, he seems to be obsessed with them, as in all those whites. Mm. Uh, the Celtic cousins in Ireland, I don't know how to take it, to be honest. I mean, like, Hamza Youssef, he's the son of Muzaffa Youssef and Shaista Buttar, who are both South Asian. From the clan obviously. of, of North Club. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> from, from the clan of Muk Youssef. <laughs> and he... he, 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 he He's married to a woman called Nadia El Nakla as well. So he married within the community, let's say. Yeah, exactly. He, he definitely married another fellow Celt. And so it's like, okay, Hamza, like you, you, you and your family probably make up the entirety of the South Asian community in Scotland. Like, it, it's actually kind of amazing that in a country that is 96% Scottish, you managed to find a non-Scottish woman to marry. Like, that's it really must have been quite a challenge. And so... George Galloway responded to this, and this is going to be a lot of this podcast, but it's fun. Uh, and George Galloway said this, you're a Celt, seriously. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, God, just sweating, oh, God. The anglers here dabbing. have no involvement. <laughs> yeah, yes. yeah. <laughs> we don't have a goat in this fight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's racist against Humza Yusuf. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> not, not the people who literally breed goats for a living. The Celts. I thought you were going to say about him being Middle Eastern. No. Well, they do breed goats for a living. Okay, both of them. So, we don't have a goat in this fight. What's the problem? A pair of goat lovers, the pair of them. Right, okay. <laughs> but, yeah, so, like, uh-oh. And, uh, you know, someone responds going, yeah, he's from that well-known Pakistani Celtic tribe. And it's like, well, uh, <laughs> the Muk Yusufs have got a long and noble history. Thank you. Don't know why you're saying that. But uh, And then George followed it up with this. Well, Humza, uh, that's the proofs on the next one. Yeah, Muk Haggis, you know, from that well known Pakistani Celtic tribe. George follows up with this Well, Humza, you're not more Scottish than me. You're not a Celt like me. You're not working class like me. You didn't go to a state school like me. You're not more socialist than me. Stop pretending you're a poser. 
I mean, where's the lie? Just to be clear, uh, he didn't. Ethnic and socialist pride in there, making me making me want to just like wheel away. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's just like okay, but I mean, there's no doubt that he is not as socialist as George Galloway. George Galloway is a pretty radical leftist and always has been. Uh, he's, I think all of these statements are true. Yeah, I think all of these statements are true. Actually, uh, George, you know, Hamza Yusuf got a private education. Uh, he's not working class, and it. I don't think I would assume he was a Celt judging from his look or his ancestry. Whereas George Galloway does look pretty Celtic, in fact. So, uh, hmm. And he also said this, uh, all the uh, Geenit Laldi, which is again Celtic gibberish, um, (laughs) in the world, Humza will not change the fact that you are a privately educated poser pretending that you're more Scottish than us because you wave SNP flags. Stop pretending. That's true. He's privately educated, privileged poser. He is. He certainly is. And uh, he is certainly waving an SNP flag, as most posers in Scotland probably do. It's very interesting. He also retweeted this. Uh, getting this yet, Humza, the only, you're the only person who made it, and any of uh, many of us feel uneasy is you and your rage against so many white people being in jobs in Scotland, when in fact Scotland's white population is around 90%. Uh, it was a bit higher than that, actually. That's the Scottish percentage of Scotland. Uh, they're obviously English people and Yeah, so it was like 97 French. or something ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. and then the next census will be interesting. Uh, you sound racist. People were embarrassed. Look to yourself. And he's got no one he can blame here. He's not like, you're coming after me for ethnic characteristics. You're how, the one who brought this up. Yeah, how dare you bring up race? You're the one having racist rants in the parliament. Yeah. So. And so Humza responds with this. George Galloway, you haven't ever managed to get elected to the Scottish Parliament like me, and I suspect the voters of Scotland will show you the cat flap again come the 6th of May. When you're shown the door, please take your race baiting, you're not a Celt like me mince with you. Unbelievable. <laughs> Un- that Humza Yusuf would accuse someone else of race baiting and tell them to leave as they as with and take it with them. Just, I mean, there's no point pointing out the hypocrisy of that. Like that is just a statement that is so far beyond the pale that you realise that Hamza Youssef must actually be evil and deliberately, maliciously lying to everyone about the fact that he uh, he is just the world's most monumental hypocrite. Like it, he just is. It, there's no point pointing this out because he obviously knows this and obviously doesn't care. He is Scotland's Callicles. His commitment to ethics goes as far as it inconveniences him. And anyway. I love the chat. It's the pot calling the kettle white. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Uh, anyway, so the thing is, right, is George Galloway isn't a racist. He's, and he's not, not said anything racist there. I mean, what he said there is true by, like, you know, the terms of reality. Uh, and, and he's not the one who brought up race either. You were one. You're the one, yeah, exactly. You're the one who brings up race on everything. And uh, interestingly, uh, George Galloway, I mean, in 2012, he was elected to the real parliament, not the Scottish parliament, um, from Bradford by pandering to the large Muslim bloc in Bradford and and in the Respect Party. And he actually won with quite a swing too, 10,000 odd, uh, you know, one of the largest swings in the polls of the modern political party. So like, Hums is like, you didn't get elected to the Scottish parliament like me. It's like, well, A, that's not very impressive because it's not the real parliament. And it probably should be abolished, Hamza, because it produces people like you. And B, it's not like he's yeah. not been an MP. Like, how many of your constituents even know you, Hamza? Well, a lot of them now, and they think he's a bunch of he's a bloody racist, yeah. don't they? But here's, here's always the joke of British politics of the constituency: is that no one ever knows who their constituency no. person is. No one no. meets them. Do you, I mean? Do you know like who the MP for North Swindon is? Do I care? A, a, a suit. Yeah, that's what it is. It's a suit. Uh, it's uh, Justin Tomlinson not terribly impressive anyway um other check marks rush to humza's defense obviously solidarity to humza this from galloway is treading on extremely dodgy territory really oh. really george galloway pointing out that humza Yusuf is not celtic and he is is dodgy territory is it why are we living in a world where we're supposed to pretend that a man of south asian descent is from is celtic why do we have to pretend that like, no one's saying that he's not allowed to live in Scotland. Like, no one's saying that only Celts can live in Scotland. Not even George Galloway saying this, you know. No one's saying that. But, like, this is always extremely dodgy. Why? Why is that where we're going? I'd love to ask Hamza Yusuf as well, why does Northern Ireland belong to Ireland? Because I bet he's of that persuasion, because all leftists are. 
I was like, on what basis? Well, it's an independence. On what basis? basis? Well, because of ethno nationalism. Wait, no, I mean uh, socialist solidarity. Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's it. Exactly. Yeah. What's he going to argue? But uh, anyway, he's like, you know, Humza is every bit as Scottish as I am, except only one of us has gone to public service for Scottish constituents, and it's not me. This is seriously unacceptable. Well, thank God for Humza. I mean, he's done so much for the people of Scotland. He only abolished one of their fundamental human rights. You know, he's done so much for the people of Scotland. And uh, the president of the Scottish National Party uh, said, man in a hat, tell someone stop being a poser. <laughs> Yeah? Well, you wear a hat. <laughs> Checkmate. You're, you're no longer a Celt, George. Don't know what to tell you there, mate. Uh, the rest is gutter dog whistle politics. But from this source, not unexpected. Ah, yes, George Galloway, noted racist. Long term... Oh, shut up. Proud to call Humza Yusuf a friend and still in awe of his mentor, the first Scots-Asian MSP, my dear friend, the late lamented Bashir McCarned. Another traditional Scottish name. Scots Asian. Why not Scots Celtic? Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Why not Scots Celtic? Why Why accuse him of being Asian? What, are you a racist? Are you saying he's not a real Scottish person just because he happens to come from somewhere else? <laughs> like, or his family comes from somewhere else? Is he not really Scottish now? Like, get your own nonsense in order. Jesus Christ. Humza, of course, thanked everyone for their solidarity. He said, thank you for your solidarity, folks. Galloway isn't the first race beta, nor the last I will encounter. Yeah, in the mirror every damn day, <laughs> Humza. Oh, man. Every day I look at a race beta and I'm like, God, I'm going to have to go get those white people. <laughs> <laughs> Me, too much white. <laughs> <laughs> Wearing his kilt. I can't get over the story. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> but, but that's the thing. Like, he, he must be looking at himself in a kilt going, I'm way too white. <laughs> Sorry. The people of Scotland will give him the boot. Let's not give the despicable attention seeker any more of the oxygen of publicity that he craves. Hashtag hope, not hate. Oh, uh, really? You're working with the communists, are you? He is, of course. Yeah. But then the, the, these people are all communists. All... Th all Galloway and Humza and the rest of the SNP. They're a bunch of either communists or Nazis. I mean, take your pick. It's a very fine distinction at this point. But, like, the way outside... I mean, the thing is, right, George Galloway is not a racist at all. His wife's black, and he has five mixed-race children. And he's like, as the father of five mixed-race children, I treat Humza's accusation that I'm a racist with contempt. Humza, there is way more evidence that you're a racist than George Galloway. Way more. I mean... Are you dating outside of your ethnic group, Hansa? No! Exactly! <laughs> uh, it, is there a rant about George Galloway going, Muslim, 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 or something like that in, in Parliament? No, there's not, Hamza. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's not! Oh. Like, I don't agree with George Galloway's, like, you know, radical left-wing politics, but... If it's like, I mean, he's racist. obviously a man of principle, unlike you. Yes, that's the point. He's still, you know, like even if I disagree, I can. Still... He's actually respectable. Yes, <laughs> like <laughs> it's just insane. He's accused a lot of Scottish people of this sin, and we're all getting sick and tired of it. In fact, most of the racism in this country is deliberately engendered by the SNP. Where's the lie? You know, I, Comrade Galloway. I can't believe it. And uh, the thing is, he follows this up by going, look, I'm a Celt, but most Scots aren't Celts. Uh, and speaking of a Celt, what's special about that? There's only one race, the human race, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, where, where, where the hell are we going here? But the thing is, I mean, he's not wrong on any of the things that he said here. So, and he's not said anything that's to suggest, like, superiority or inferiority. And he's obviously not a racist because of his general career trajectory and his life, his personal life. Humza is the one that went to the country that's 96% Scottish and managed to find his Salvation Bride. Not George Galloway. I mean, George Galloway didn't go to Iraq and be like, this place is full of Iraqis. <laughs> Clean them out. Just, just amazes me. I mean, anyway, this is uh, the, the current glorious state of Scottish politics, and I love watching it. It's hilarious. Oh. This, is, this is truly prime entertainment for me. Uh, <laughs> I'm in agreement. This, this is the best drama alert nation I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If you enjoyed this segment from the podcast of the Lotus Eaters, you can watch the full broadcast live every weekday at 1pm UK time on lotuseaters.com.